Well, in Deuteronomy 34, 5 through 6, the Bible said that God buried Moses after he died. And in Jude 9, verse 9, it said that the devil and Michael the archangel argued over the body of Moses. So why would Satan want to do anything with the body of Moses, which God had buried and Moses wasn't even in? That is a good question. Um, did you mention, I had to come over to hear you over there because, did you know, you can't hear you right here. You have to be in front of, I see why they have these things here. Did you mention the Jude passage? Did I hear you say the Jude passage? Did he? Yeah, okay, good, because uh, that's a big part of it. Um, to answer his question real quickly, and I can go into it as deep as you want to, for the same reason that God had him destroy the brazen serpent and everything else, people are drawn to worship objects. In fact, uh, we're going to get to that right over here with Terry. Um, the Shroud of Turin um, that he caught me on the way in to ask about. As humans, we are so wanting to materialize the spiritual. Holy hardware. Uh, we like, humans like, you should, see them, you should see the Muslims do their prayer beads. You should see the Roman Catholics do their prayer beads. You should see the devotion of people in front of all the idols and icons and everything. We love to materialize the physical. So God knew that uh, if you left Moses' body uh, out, that the people, Moses was looked on almost like God. I mean, he fed millions of people through his efforts, you know, asking God to feed him. He could get God to send birds at, at ground level so you could get as much as you want to eat. He, through his little rod, you know, oh, God did it all, but, you know, he split the Red Sea. And, they just revered Moses. His face glowed. I mean, who else got to know God face to face? So what a person to make a shrine to. And so the devil knows our propensity for we love to worship what we can see, not the one we can't see. God is hard. He's invisible. We want someone. That's why the problem with the church, that's why we have so many over-revered through the history up to the present with the Pope, revered and worshiped church leaders. It's wrong to materialize the spiritual, to, to, uh, to put your worship into a, a, a physical dimension rather in spirit and in truth. So God knew what Moses wanted to, or what the devil was going to do with Moses' body. So God buried Moses in, in uh, uh, Mr. Giles' uh, verse in Deuteronomy. But what it says in Jude is that when the devil was disputing with Moses, or with, when the devil was disputing with Michael over the body of Moses, Michael didn't argue with him. That's a whole different thing. We don't, we don't rebuke the devil in our own. We don't just face off with the devil. If Michael wouldn't, we sure shouldn't. It's all Michael said is, the Lord rebuke thee. And so basically what's going on here is Satan is trying to make a shrine kind of like in Mecca right now, he wanted to make a shrine. He wanted to make a snare for the children of Israel, just like, and if you ever want to read around about the last one, 2 Kings uh, 18 and verse 4 talks about a thing called Nehushtan, um, and that was what they called the serpent on the pole that, I mean, Moses made an object and people worshipped it. Can you imagine what they do with his body? And so, this snare of them worshiping an object was Satan's goal when he was trying to wrestle the body of Moses. And so Jude says that, see, God is a spirit. So God doesn't pick up bodies, dig holes, and put them in. God, when it says God buried him, God told Michael to bury him. And Michael was burying him in Moab, in the mountains, op opposite the... Uh, the Dead Sea area, and the devil was trying to wrestle him away. So, I mean, that's a little insight into a lot of us don't even think about the devil doing things in the physical world, but he does a lot of things. 